Today we're going to demonstrate how to perform a test with the Gilson MD2000 Micro Deval apparatus, which is used to determine the abrasion loss of aggregate in the presence of water and in an abrasive charge. To perform a test using the MD2000, the user must first refer to the test protocol specified by the governing body, whether it's ASTM, ASHTO, Canadian test specifications, or the Texas Department of Transportation requirements. Now, load the prepared sample into the abrasion jar along with the specified amounts of abrasive charge and water. Carefully clean and dry off the rim of the jar and the lid gasket. Next, place the lid on the jar and secure with the threaded locking knob. Please note that excessive tightening of the knob may result in deformation of components. Tighten only snug and free from leaks. Now, invert the jar and check for leaks. If a jar leaks, inspect the seal for debris or damage. If a watertight seal cannot be established, do not use the jar and contact your Gilson technical support team for recommendations. Once you have confirmed a properly secured jar, place the jar on its side in the recessed area of the roller set, with the clamping end facing towards the optical encoder. Now check that there are no foreign objects or obstructions in the jar chambers. Close the unit's doors by closing the bottom door first, then closing and latching the top door. Select either Time or Revolution Mode. Press A for Time Mode or press B for Revolution Mode. In selecting the Time Mode, the timeline will indicate the set point in whole minutes. To change the set point, press OK and the Time Mode value will begin to flash. Adjust the set point using the plus and minus buttons. Once the desired value is displayed, Press OK to save. In selecting the revolution modes, the REVS line or revolution line will indicate the set point for the maximum number of jar revolutions during the test. To change the set point, press OK and the revolution's value will begin to flash. Adjust the set point using the plus or minus buttons. Once the desired value is displayed, Press OK to save. Now press the green start button to begin the test. Depending on the mode selected, the timer or the revolutions counter will then control the duration of the test and stop the MD2000 automatically upon completion. To shift the display between the operational display, the revolutions per minute display, or the elapsed time display, Press the A button until you reach the desired display. Pressing the large red stop button located on the front panel will cease rotations. Then pressing the green start button will resume test operations with the time or revolutions remaining. At the completion of the test, use caution when removing the jar lid. It is possible for pressure to build inside the sealed jars during testing. For any questions concerning the Gilson MD2000 Micro Deval apparatus or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.